Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, finally, it's here. I just got it today. The box set of Yes Talk uh, 1994, which uh, just uh, re-released. Um, my first impression is so light, actually. There are four CDs here, and um, as you can see, still sealed. I have no idea what's inside. So I decided to check this and open together with you. And I'll give you my thoughts later. Let's see. Come on. It's a very underrated album actually. So, what do we got in? It's a zip case. And there you have um, four CDs and uh, some kind of booklet there. Let's see what we got here. Story. I love that to read. Can't wait to dig in. I am very excited to hear the live CDs. Obviously this is the, the album, studio album. Brothers and Robins, that's names, yeah. And the CD, yeah. CD one and the CD talk versions, some uh, special versions and demos. Demos. There are gate folder CDs. Oh, I can see here. That's a Robin interview there. Instrumental. That could be okay to listen at least once. This one is, um, oh, what the hell is that? Gonna do Gaia in New York. That's a live one now. Yeah. I'm excited about this. This is CD2 of the same tour. I think I heard it somewhere that they were they were pla they planned to to release a live album, but um, it just didn't happen. Uh, this CD CD box set is very expensive, but what is cheap today? I mean. Um, I'm a Yes fan, so that's why I bought this one. I I thought really long and hard, do I need to buy this or not? But because of these live things here, I thought, well, maybe I should have it. Um, I do have on vinyl, obviously, but this is not... Um, let me just go a little bit here. This is not... Um, 2024 release. This is um, music on vinyl a few years back. I bought it and um, I hate it for one thing because they put it on two vinyls. This album was uh, released as a single disc in 1994 and uh, never released again. And I, I was hoping they're going to re-release it again only on one vinyl but uh, um, they dress the same, so there's no point for me to buy it. You have lyrics here. Uh, I remember when this album came out. Um, I hated it. I, I just thought it was nothing here. Uh, this was released in some kind of um, very small liquor label called... Um, Victory, which, which went bankrupt very fast. 
the guy from uh, Atlantic started. I think uh, they made this album and also um, uh, ELP made something there and uh, but it was it was really didn't didn't do well at all. Um, in some kind of way it's embarrassing to say that for 30 years I hated this album. I just never give it a chance. I just I just thought it was a waste of time and nothing good here. But all that changed when um, I started to listen to vinyl. And I was just thinking, oh, maybe maybe we should give it another try. And now my mind has changed. This album is really, really good. Uh, and that's what made me to buy this box too. Um, I remember this come at the same time as Pink Floyd's Division Bell. And I bought these two CDs back then. And I was just, Pink Floyd blocks your brain. You cannot listen to anything else when they come with a new album. So, so this was shelled on the side. Um, give it another try. This album is great. I changed my mind. It took me 30 years, but I changed my mind. I love it now. So there you go, guys. Uh, uh, yeah, by the way, this is the ugliest cover. The yes ever put. I, I just don't get it. It's supposed to be some kind of famous um, guy who did this. They put even a name in right. But this is bullshit. This is awful, awful artwork. The the worst one. This is even worse album cover than a big generator. So there you go, guys. You you have your um, your opinion obviously about this, but uh, I think it's worth listening again and give the chance to this album because it's really really good. Thank you and uh, goodbye.